Night of the Hunted, is directed by Frank Calfoon and is currently streaming on Shudder. They got Alice and her buddy. They're headed back from a convention, basically on their way home. Gas gets low, so they have to go to a gas station to get a refill. Now, mind you, it's 2 a.m. in the morning, so, you know, ain't nobody out, dude. They're just trying to get home. Late as fuck, right? Or early, however you want to look at it. So anyhow, though, her buddies, you know, they get they make it to the gas station. Her buddy is basically getting the gas while she heads inside to pick up some road snacks. And as she's about to pay for her stuff, she knows there's no attendant around. No one in sight. So obviously that's kind of strange and not ordinary. Then she heads for the door, kind of looking outside, just kind of see if she sees anybody. She's her buddy, already has the gas. Gas is, you know, tanks filled up. He's sitting in the car, just chilling, listening to some tunes, just minding his business, right? So out of nowhere, just as she turns back around to look back inside the shop, she gets shot in the arm. So of course, <laughs> she runs for cover inside the store and she's still getting shot at. She literally has a sniper around trying to kill her and she has no clue as to why this person wants her dead. Here's the situation now. So you got Alice, she's stuck in the store with a wounded arm, sniper out to get her. Her buddy is in the car, totally oblivious to everything going on in the situation. Kind of sounds like a, another case of soy, if you ask me, AKA the sound of your ass. So I'll say this, this movie had potential to be fucking badass, actually. I mean, the one thing that was awesome about this, or one of the few things I'll say that I'll give this movie credit for, is that it only took seven minutes for shit to really kick in. I mean, you got to kind of know the characters and whatnot and what was really going on, so you didn't, you didn't need any more. And then once, you know, the shit hits the fan, it's cool for a while. It's high octane for a little bit, right? And the story at first, at least from the beginning, is pretty simplistic and whatnot. You know, like I said, not a lot of exposition because honestly, it didn't need it. And the story I thought I was getting kind of ends up changing to be something else, which is just, oh, goodness. At some point, she finds out there's like a radio inside the store, right? That he left in there to talk to her and whatnot. And obviously, there's some things that are revealed and whatnot and blah, blah, blah. But the problem is, as opposed to being just a simplistic story, they decide to actually make it like this social commentary and whatnot. It just makes no sense because it's kind of like, why would you do this? The simplicity of it at first would have been perfect. And to top it off, the movie is about like an hour and 30 or 40 minutes. If they had shaved off 10 to 15 minutes, it would have been a lot better. And it's just so convoluted and just too long. There's literally like a scene where this guy goes through like a, a seven minute monologue about just some shit, dude. I'm just like, what the fuck? And like, it's just, it almost kind of loses itself after a while. There's good violence. I'll say that for sure, man. Oh my goodness. Especially with it being a sniper, just sniping fools. I mean, ooh, one person gets worked real cold. Then also there's some people you kind of feel bad for when they die. You're like, no, don't do it. So I'll say that was kind of cool. But the movie as a whole just didn't do it for me. I didn't like the fact that they decided to try and just get too too preachy. That's what happened, it got too preachy. I did not like that at all. You know, it's just too bad because this movie actually had a few good things going for it, right? You got this girl stuck, trapped inside this store at a gas station, right? And anytime somebody comes into the gas station getting shot at or maybe not getting shot at, you don't know if it's the person actually trying to kill her, right? You have no clue, because all you have is a voice, right? So a person comes in, you have no clue who it is. So that's one thing, right? Plus, she's trying to find a way to survive because she can't just walk around the store because there's nothing but glass, so it's all open. Homeboy can shoot her in the ass at any moment, right? So she's got to, like, find these savvy ways to survive and try to get from one point to another without getting her ass shot off. Too bad, man, but yeah, this movie had a lot of potential. And to top it off, the way the movie ends makes it even more disappointing because you go through all this shit and you hear what this, this person has to say. You're like, okay, well... All right, so you're thinking at least you'll get a good ending, right? No, that's the problem. You don't. I would pass on this movie. The violence is good for sure, don't get me wrong, though, but the story and plot, it's just, it's frustrating. I can't recommend this. <laughs> but if you do watch it, enter at your own risk. That's all I can say. So, but yeah, I would pass on this one if I were you. But I do have one. I do have a movie that is pretty badass with a similar premise, though. And it's called Down Range. It's available on Shutter as well. Stranded at the side of the road after a tire blowout, a group of friends become targets of an enigmatic sniper. 
That's easy for me to say. <laughs> but anyways, dumb people getting sniped off one by one. And that ending, dude. Ooh, that ending. Very unexpected, dude. Hell unexpected. It's a fun one. I, it's violent. It's nasty. It's fun watching these dumb people. Why are you doing this to us? Oh, dude, it's so great. I love it. <laughs> Anyhow, though, yeah, definitely check that one out, though. It's great. Definitely better than this crap I just watched, but that is it is what it is, right? But anyhow, though, hey, that's all for today. Stay nasty, my friends, and Halloween will be here this weekend. Five Nights at Freddy's up next. Stay nasty out. I'll see you soon. Like and like subscribe. And subscribe.